Hey cycling community, this is Steve Bruce with the Cycling Greek. This is day two of the T-Block. Today's going to be another group ride, and today we're going to be talking about recovering on multi-day stage races and training blocks. So let's get going. <laughs> In episode 1, we discussed how to design a training block. In episode 2, we will discuss how to recover between each of the day's training rides. This also applies to stage races. To begin, what should one do after a training ride? Get in an ample amount of carbohydrates and amino acids as soon as you can after the ride, preferably within 30 minutes. This is how the Cycling Greek does it. My main preference is to use Hammer Nutrition's Recoverite. It is a 3 to 1 ratio of glucose to amino acids. Since I was out of recovery, right, I had to make my own version. I started with whey protein and enhanced it with L-glutamine, just like Hammer Nutrition does with its whey protein product. The frozen blueberries and cherries, while they provide carbohydrates just as the banana did, they also provide important phytonutrients. The extra cane sugar ensures that I receive the extra carbohydrates I need after this long training ride. The reason to consume this so soon after a training ride is so that you take advantage of the time period where your body does not have to produce insulin for you to assimilate nutrients into your muscle cell. The glucose will be used to refill glycogen stores. You'll have quick energy for your next training ride. The amino acids, including the L-glutamine, will be used to repair muscle damage and re-enhance your immune system that was driven down by the long, hard ride. The next recovery item to focus on is massage. I like to use a rolling pin. It hurts but it is much needed. It helps to remove waste materials from a fascia as well as small knots and spasms in your muscles. Doing this will decrease recovery time by removing obstacles your body otherwise would have to deal with getting you ready for the next day. The next major thing to focus on is a good quality meal. It is important, especially after the second day when you'll be tempted not to overeat. What you don't want to do is overrun your digestive enzymes. If you do, then you'll feel backed up, maybe a little miserable, and maybe start thinking that your next training or race day is a little bit in jeopardy. Take your time, make good choices, and have patience. Sleep is one of the most important aspects of recovery. Not only is it important to get a quality night's sleep, but I recommend doing a nap during the day after the training ride. At the beginning of the block, I find myself napping for about 20 minutes after the ride. Toward the end of the block, it could be from 1 to 2 hours. Keep in mind, I'm an old guy. While it is highly recommended that you stay at your feet, it is equally important that you have a little bit of activity. For example, walking down to the end of the block and back. It helps promote blood flow, extraction of waste material, and brings a little balance back into your body. In summary, as soon as you get off the bike, get in that easy to assimilate carbohydrate and protein. Next, get that massage stick. If you don't have a massage stick, use your hands and fingers. After that, a good quality meal. Remember, don't overeat. It's important to take a nap and get that good quality sleep and go for a small walk. I hope you found this useful. Remember, comment, like, subscribe, and look for the next episode, The Cycling Week. And this is just a third of the way into day two. Easy peasy. This is William Ewey. So what do you, how do you recover on multi-day rides? What do you do? Well, I make sure, usually during the first half hour, I'll try to mostly drink, but eat some. And then I sleep. And that's about it. Make sure I get a good rest. So real quickly, what do you do to recover on multi-day rides? Multi-day rides? Yes. Sleep and eat. That's what I do. Okay. You're pithy. I like that. How about yourself? What do you I, do? I pretty much do the same thing. Try and get a little extra rest, a little extra calories, not uh, do too many things other than riding. Just try and, try and relax. And <laughs> what do you do to recover on multi-day rides? I don't know. There's not much recovery. <laughs>